So, today, as a recording, I'm bottling another homebrew. The video is either out or coming out soon to a YouTube near you. But I went to the LCBO later that day and I stumbled upon a beer that is very, very similar to the homebrew I just bottled. Coincidence? I think not. But I'm excited about it, so let's see how the big guys do it. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys, and I have for you guys, is from the Cowbell Brewing Company out of Blythe, Ontario. This is their Citra Smash Single Malt and Single Hop Juicy Pale Ale, coming in at 5% alcohols by volume. And how many IBUs? 40 IBUs. Pretty cool looking can, nice green, oranges, very light and bright and pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, 5%, 40 IBUs. Let's track this bad boy open and see what we got. Whoa. Big pop. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also a uh, Kvike yeast was used, which is really, really cool. Kvike yeast is that yeast that, uh, ooh, it's a beautiful thing. It ferments beers in half the time and you can ferment hot as fuck, up to like 40 degrees, which is pretty awesome. Now let's look at the beer itself. Nice, hazy, golden, yeah, more yellow color to it. Nice white head on top, that is fantastic. Single malt, single hop, so that means the beer is made with exactly what it, what it stands for. One kind of malt, one kind of hop, done, good to go. Very easy, very straightforward. Let's see what this is about, let's dive in on the nose. Melanie, grapefruit, pine, mm, orange, citrusy, like tangerine, zesty, and also juicy. Mango, but coming back to that melon, a little bit of pineapple. Mm, yeah, nice citrus kick in the back. A little lemon and stuff. Pretty damn good. Let's dive in on that sip. All right, all right, not too bad. Nice, nice citrus base, oranges, lemons, a little bit of that going on, some pineapple acidity to it. Um, a little bit of like a sweetness, like again, more like that, that melon sweetness to it. Very bright, lively, refreshing, quite enjoyable. Nice CO2 volumes on that as well. I gotta check those again. So with that said guys, cheers everybody. Oh, let's keep on drinking. Yeah, very big um, uh, carbonation volumes on this guy. If you can really feel the bubbles, maybe a little bit of carbonic acid kind of hiding some of the uh, some of the majestic flavors going on in this juicy brew. Yeah, real nice um, orange, lemon, citrusy uh, base with a little bit of like a sweet melon and some hints of uh, of like a uh, you know pineapple acidity to it. Quite good indeed. A little bit of maltiness in the back end, not too much. Mm. Nice little like, um, kick a kick of bread uh, in the back end. Quite enjoyable. See what the can has to say. Cowbell Brewing Co. Citra Smash Juicy Pale Ale. 5% ABV, 40 IBUs. On the back end it says, the single malt and single hop brew allows two row Canadian pale malt and citra hops to be the stars of the show. Fermented with Lairdal Kvike, same type of yeast. I use the Lairdal Kvike in my homebrew over here. So, and also use Citra. Dry hopped it with Citra and two row, but I had a few more things. Aromas and flavors of juicy peach, bright orange, and ripe orchard fruit shine through for a smashing good time. Not really getting the juicy peach or the orchard fruit. Um, me, stone fruits and such and whatnot, kind of hard for me to pick up. I'm definitely getting more of that citrus. some melon and pineapple personally. Again, flavors change on person to person. Uh, other information on here, 5% ABV, 40 IBUs, serving temp three degrees uh, Celsius. Pairings are butter chicken, grilled veggies, fish and chips, and sour peach candies. Taste notes are juicy orange, ripe peach, citrus zest, and pineapple. So I'm getting the pineapple, just not getting that ripe peach. 
Anything else? Pretty damn good. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast contains barley. On the bottom, packaged on August 12th, 2021. So a pretty fresh beer if this is uh, August 28th. Pretty nice. Moving over to the website, cowbellbrewing.com. I'm on, actually in the store section uh, of here. It sells it in, in four, in uh, four, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Sells it in a pack of four cans. We'll get to the price in just a hot minute. Uh, as for information about here, see it has the exact same description, ABV, IBU. Shows, throws in the SRM at two. Uh, tasting notes, pairings, and whatnot. You are pretty damn good. Solid looking thing indeed. Moving over to Untapped Citrus Smash. Damn, that's good. Has been given a 3.78 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 231 ratings. Finally, for the price, where is it? Don't know. I don't know the price in the LCBO because uh, I can't find it at the LCBO. Maybe a link down in the description box, but nothing as of yet. Um, website though, Cowbell Brewing, they're selling it for $13.62 before taxes and shipping for a four pack. Right now, as of recording, might be different. Uh, it's on sale for $13.12 for a four pack before taxes and shipping. So a pretty damn good price. What's that? Four bucks, a little over four bucks a beer. I think it was four twenty-five, if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't make sense. I don't remember. Checking the links below. But you know what? Not a bad beer. Not a bad beer at all. Really cool to see how, uh, you know, one single malt, one single hop really work together and really uh, be able to shine through. And you really get to kind of see almost like, like a more intimate sort of um, taste profile uh, with the uh, with, with each uh, bit of ingredient. And then just Kvaiki's throwing that in. Always a good time. Always a good time indeed. Choosing the final sip, guys. Well, let's get ready to Wrap this thing up. Cowbell, smash, citra, citra smash, juicy, pale ale. Solid, solid, solid beer. Looks great, tastes great, great aromas, very tropical, juicy, fruit forward. A nice little bread note in the back end on the uh, on the flavor sort of thing. Carbonation, pretty good. A little high in my mind. Maybe bring it down just a touch, but other than that, fantastic. 5%, you can crush a few of these without getting blasted off your ass, which is a nice bonus as well. Solid stuff. Uh, smash beers, single malt, single hop, and some Kvike yeast. Hey, go buy some. You're going to have a damn good time. Overall, Cowbell Citrus Smash gets a smashing number of 7.9 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, I'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Get to pour the last bit of beer in the cup. Stay tuned for my homebrew because it's pretty similar, but not totally the same. Cheers.